What's going on guys? Welcome back to some more Dark Deity. Uh, today we got our Chapter 9, Lord of the Waste. We're going to start off with our bonds and our setup as usual. And then, of course, we'll get into the, the chapter. So let's do it. Samara. God, Samara. You're shivering like crazy. Are you alright? Huh? Oh, I'm alright. Huh? Do you mind if I sit down with you? If you say so. I suppose that's fine. Do you always sit alone when you're feeling overwhelmed? I can't help it. I don't like for other people to see. Ugh. Have I ever told you about the town I grew up in? Kirch? <laughs> Kirk? Kirch? Uh. We've never spoken for longer than five seconds, Bianca. <laughs> so, no. It's a beautiful place, really. People talk about Red Hill as, and its rolling hills, but they never mention Kirk. A little further out of the way, sure, but it's just as beautiful, if not more. <sighs> Anyway, my older brother and I would spend all day long just running around in the cornfields when we were younger. Hmm. Sounds nice. I never really had the chance to frolic as a child. <laughs> well, you're a princess. I'm a commoner. This makes no sense. I wish people would stop using that word. There's no difference between you and I. I frolic, you learn. That's a difference even if it's an unimportant one. You don't see me any differently? How cute! Of course not. I see. Thank you for sitting with me. This was all just a distraction, huh? Could be. Depends on how you look at it now, doesn't it? Okay. Brooke, I'm glad you managed to keep everyone alive. <sighs> they didn't make it easy. Each of them seems to have a knack for getting in trouble. <laughs> we said we'd pay, but we never said it would be easy. No. No, your mother said you'd pay. And to protect you, not spy on a detachment of Delian troops. More than anything, I'm lucky you're alive. There'd be nowhere safe on Terrazel to hide from her wrath. My mother's really not a wrathful person, bro. You can't be serious. That's right. She was probably just ignorant of my reputation as a cold-blooded assassin. I'm sure if you and Sarah wound up dead, she'd tell me not to lose sleep over it and pay me something for my troubles. Alright, I see your point. Hard not to. <sighs> well, what matters is we're back together now. And hopefully for good. Hmm. We'll see about that. What I'm more concerned about are the aspects. I was surprised Sarah would trust Dalian troops enough to actually wield them. Hmm. I wouldn't worry too much. This seems to be rel this seems to be a relatively harmless and inexperienced bunch. Except for that Lincoln fellow. He's got a real stick up his <laughs> Bro, please, not so loud. <sighs> or what? He'll insist on defending his honor with a duel? That could be fun. Now who's getting in the trouble? Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> Good. That's not what we're here for. Now come on, let's rejoin the others before they suspect us plotting something. Maybe we should be plotting something. <sighs> Brooke? Can't trust them. Never hurts to have a backup plan. <laughs> Alright. Now we got Sarah. Roan? Valmirin? To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? What the fuck? I'm so confused. I'm intrigued. I've heard much of the beloved Princess of Aramore. I simply wanted to see her myself. Of course. This certainly has nothing to do with the communications between Serenity and your father, does it? How do you know of them? <laughs> How do you? How do you? I read her mail as a child, and I'm sure you read Henry's. You're not half bad. I guess it takes an heiress to know one. They did not color your perception of her to hear such treachery? You think Serenity was deliberately suggesting treason? She was a plant from King Darius. It was. It is no secret that Henry Valmirin is a snake. Huh. I suppose I assumed that Serenity was the same way. Easy assumption to come to you from all I've heard. Hmm. She's ruthless and she cares for Aramore greatly. But she is also loyal to the throne and always has been. Loyalty is a foreign concept in Delia of late. Hard to imagine I'm the only one she fooled. No less than five different agents were reading their communications in Delia. You can be sure that the other major noble houses knew. Anyone with half a brain knows that my father craves power. I can't imagine they were surprised. It's simply politics. Surprised? No, but hard evidence can be quite damning, and I'm sure you know all too well. So what are you saying, that there was a plot against my father? There was. He trampled it long ago. I don't understand how he does it, but your father is a horribly intelligent man. I've been searching for those answers all my life. Okay. Well, that wasn't very... It's kind of a rough bond. Got some B bonds here now. 
two esteemed captains and the Delian army now deserters. How in the black abyss did this happen? We weren't so esteemed after we added a added stop a village from being raised by bandits to our itinerary. Remember that? I do. And what great use that memory is to me now. I ever said it would be. No. No, you didn't. Look, Varric's not the man he was when either of us enlisted. We both know that. True, but he's still king. Ugh. Why should that mean anything when he's broken every oath he's ever uttered? <sighs> and the crown has lost its weight. That feels like an understatement. Trump. I don't know. If Sterling felt the same way, he'd be with us right now. There must be more to the story. Well, whatever it is, we're staying loyal to our oath to protect Varric's subjects, even if he isn't. You once taught me the difference between fidelity and blind loyalty, remember? Ha, <laughs> huh, good to know you're paying attention. Now and again. Oh, see, that was quick. Can you believe how far we've come since Duskwater? Of course I can believe it. It's the grand adventure I always yearn for. I knew I would get it someday. Uh-huh. You know, it's alright to get a little homesick. I do. I miss my mom and pop sometimes, but there wasn't much in dusk water to miss. Why would I be homesick? <sighs> Home doesn't need to be interesting or fun. It's a place of safety, a place you can be comfortable. A lot of cold comfort coming our way recently. Yeah, things have been a little rocky. Doesn't mean I'm ready to go running home to mama. No, I wouldn't think so. Just want to check in and see where your head is. <laughs> On my shoulders, last I checked. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. You and I are really... You and I are really one older brother away from being the same person. Mm. How do you mean? You've lived in a small town that you felt wasn't big enough for what you wanted out of life. So did I. <sighs> Without my brother moving us to Sojourn, I may still be there. You're braver than I ever was. Oh? I don't know about that. Sort of like a rock for me. I look to you to know how to act. <laughs> You'd have much better manners if that were really the case. No, I do. Not when we're sitting around or traveling, obviously, but when things get tense, you know that world better than I do. Well, not for long. You're learning fast, and we've seen more than our share of conflict already. <sighs> I got a feeling we won't be seeing the end of that anytime soon. I think we all have that feeling. You really look to me? Mm -hmm. More than I'd care to admit, actually. Wow, that's a weird feeling, honestly. I don't know how I feel about it. Next time we're in mortal danger and you feel a little heat on the back of your head, that's me sitting staring at you. It's creepy, really. How cute! <laughs> I'd say a lot of things could describe you, see, that creepy is not one of them. You really make me feel like a better soldier, you know? You're so much more than a soldier, and don't let old Lincoln tell you any different. He cares in his own way. Thank you for confining in me, see ya. I'm glad we had this talk. Sure thing, Captain. Whew! That was a long one. You were lucky we were around to pull you out of that one, kiddo. The aqueducts? Oh yeah. No way! You were lucky Benji was holding down the fort when you showed up. <laughs> Is that what Benji was doing? It's simple! Yep. Their arches weren't destroyed when you got there, were they? Not completely, but we also got there pretty quick. Well, you'll never know how it would have played out otherwise. I think I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Hmm. They could put you in a lot of trouble getting big ideas. How cute! Better to avoid them for the most part, right? Ideas, generally? Right. Or, well... <laughs> there's a lot of... That's starting to make sense here. It's just something my dad used to say. Not too far from the tree, huh? Hmm. I want to be like him in a lot of ways. That's part of why I'm so excited to fight with all of you. I want to carry his armor to new battles and new heights of glory. <sighs> We'll try not to be like him too much. If we can help it, let's avoid you winding up with a debilitating injury. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. One, day, one idea you can put up with. Huh, yeah, I think so. Alright, we got some more Benji. Oh, yeah. Alright, the rest are Benji in these. You sure have a lot of energy, Benji. Hey, thanks! Yeah, I get that a lot. My friends used to say my parents put fertilizer in my breakfast. <laughs> what? That's not a pleasant thought. Hey, peak performance takes commitment. Can't argue with that. Did you grow up around Red Hill? Nothing less Yo, than the born best. Born and raised. It's a great place. Anyway, always something to do. Really? 
Really, I'm a little surprised. That's why some rural folk move to the big cities, you know, to be a part of the action. It's simple! Uh, wherever Benji goes, he brings the action. Best way to win every race is to never slow down. I knew, I knew students at the academy who would have said the same. They were lots of fun to be around. Oh yeah, I never spent too much time socializing, though. Plenty to keep you busy on a farm. Hmm. Sounds about right. Well, maybe this is your big chance to see the world. Would have been happy to stay right at home, but no one burns down Benji's hometown without a fight. Besides, I'm always up for a challenge. That's good to hear. I'm sure the battles to come will challenge all of us. We'll need all the help we can get. Well, Benji doesn't pull punches. You won't have to worry about that. Just be sure to pace yourself. It's hard to improve when you're injured. I always pace myself. As fast as I can go. Scraper 2 is nothing a healer can't handle. <laughs> Then you better stick close to one. <laughs> or you better keep up. <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> You've chosen a life of adventure then, Benji. Benji! Benji's had, the had that choice made. It's in his bones. Are you sure? So joining us is just a step along the way of fulfilling your divine destiny. Yeah, that's a good way to think about it. Hmm. I see. Life on the road has its difficulties, you know. You never know when you'll return home, and sometimes you wonder if you ever will. That's not going to stop me. Other days, you're not sure where you'll sleep once the sun sets or where your next meal might crop up. Nothing less than the I best. a problem for Benji. I brought a bedroll and enough corn on the cob to last me a long time. You're really something. <laughs> At the rate you go through those, you'd need a caravan to transport that much corn. You didn't hire a caravan, did you? No way! No. Should I? You might still be able to find one. You do eat other things, don't you? It's simple! Oh yeah, it's just a sort of power food for me, but I'm not picky. In that case, I think we'll be alright, minus the caravan. Hey, thanks! So you'll help me carry some? <sighs> That's not exactly what I meant. <laughs> alright, uh... I think we have one more out there, this one. I take it you're the son of Benji... Best in... Best in class? Best in class, huh? Benji! Yes, ma'am. How'd you figure that one? Uh, the name? Anyway, my father knew yours when they were younger. I'm not sure if yours ever told you about it. Were they in the army together? No. Not quite, no. Well, most of the stories my dad tells are from his army days, so I don't know if I've heard of it. Wasn't your father only in the army for a year? Yup. He always used to say he made more memories that year than the rest of his life combined. Oh, come on. I see, so he never told you of Henry Val Myron? No way! Myron? Myron? Henry Val Myron? Oh, Henry? Yeah, I talked about him all the time. How do you know him? He's my father? Whoa! Oh! Oh! I didn't even realize. Sloan Val Myron. Henry Val Myron. Makes a right bit of sense now that I think about it. Gee, I promise I don't always miss things like this. <laughs> it's alright, Benji. We all have our strengths. You just happen to be more be mostly physical. Hey, thanks! You say that again. In fact, I think I'd really like to hear it again. Down, Tiger. <laughs> and then see you and Garrick, and that's the last one? Yep. I can't believe you just pulled that off. We pulled that off, Garrick. I'm letting you take occasional credit for my genius. We've been over this. Are you sure? So now we wait? This is too good. What if Lincoln walks in before Bianca does? Mm -hmm. You won't. I memorize their schedules. Bianca is going to freak out when she thinks Lincoln has really been in love with her this whole time. Where'd you learn to forge handwriting like that? <laughs> Do you have any idea how many drunken love letters I've had written to me? Let alone the countless ones that were given to me to pass on to someone else? <laughs> You read the ones for other people? Really? Of course I do. Sometimes I'd even change the little details to ruin them or make them better. It was a good hobby, really. It was positively evil. But I only changed ones that obviously had no chance or needed the help. You're really something. That doesn't make it any better. Letters are Can private. You not? What's got up your pants today? Are you forgetting you were just all in for us forging a love letter to Bianca? That was before I realized the framework came from other people suffering. Oh, come on. No, don't be so dramatic. Half of them didn't even remember writing them the next day. What are you hiding now? Well, maybe I'm working on a letter of my own. Could've fooled me. Hold your horses. You what now? I said, maybe I'm working on a letter of my own. You thought it was a good idea to tell me this? Hardly. Of course not, but you yelled at me to tell you, so I did. There, I do that sometimes. Hmm. 
what this letter happened to be for. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Uh -huh. I would. <laughs> okay. All right, team. I'm glad we're all getting along. Let's go ahead. We got some upgrades to do, yeah? <laughs> Sorry, Corbin. You're just is gonna have to wait because we don't even know what you do, buddy. All right, so Bianca. I want to make sure everybody's got a blue weapon first. Like, my boy Lincoln does not. I think we... Yeah, we want Hammer on Marin. I feel like the Mace was the better one. Oh, the Flail is the one with the accuracy. Which one does uh, Elias have? Let's get the word pick. Okay. So... We'll go this one. I don't see Lincoln critting a whole lot. Oh. Can we... Oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Sophia. Alright, so Caius. Longsword, Saber, Kodachi, or Short Sword. Which one? I feel like we've already leveled up one of those, but maybe not. No, I guess not. Uh, shit, I don't remember which one was better for him. All right, well, we'll come back. Because we still have Sloan. Uh, Sloan can just kind of ham with all of these, honestly. Um... Bianca has Surge. We did Surge on Bianca. So, let's go with Shock Ball. Killer Charge. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Free ship. Wow. Oh, we got our boy Benji. Pretty sure the Longsword is fucking broken, right? Pretty good. Boom. Play more. Okay. Now all we have is one level two. Let's go buy it. Let's go buy some level ones. Not inventory. Uh, shop. Yeah, we'll buy two for now. Or actually, crap. You know what? We'll buy two more. Okay, so we did the long sword. We're going crit on this guy. So we're gonna do the saber. And then who's the other one that needed it? Ah, oh, it was Caius. Alright, so the Kodachi or the short sword. Um Let's go, let's go Kodachi. Okay. Cool. And now we have a level two. What can we put this on? Yeah, we'll put it on Urban Spike. I'm good with that. Alright, inventory. Everybody's got... Like HP stuff. Okay, you do not. We need some HP stuff from somebody. Yep, we'll take that. Corn on the cob, baby. Okay, holy shit. Everybody, like... Does not. Alright, we'll take the spicy meatball. I guess as long as everybody has one healing item, we'll be. Okay. Alright. Cool. Go ahead and save. 
and I will see you guys in the next one for uh, the actual chapter.